at least we should go. So, uh, what we need to do, first step, you know that, na? Uh, what? Uh, so, what is the import pandas? Uh, actually, I start the new one. So, this is again uh, exploratory data analytics, okay? So, pandas as pd, right? And next, numpy is needed. So, import numpy as np okay now what we need to do we need to read the file and how to read we know that right so just i write df is equal to pd dot read and even writing df df i just write uh, data some changes i will do csv and what is the file name insurance claim dot csv Let's see, it will run or not. Some error is coming again. Double slash, no slash file into the, okay, comma actually plus. This is the dot now, I made a mistake. Actually I saved uh, in that, uh, uh, this uh, what we say uh, in uh, PWD or you can say the user admin folder so now this is the, our data right yes. now uh, what what is the thing here when we see the data okay so as we know I want to see the full data set so how you can see the full data set we discussed earlier okay instead of I just want to see the DF head yes. did we? so DF head and uh, no, I'm rewriting here data, huh? so data head. Okay, because I, I written instead of df, was always we writing df, df, no? so I changed data. Data head, now in this data set, we need to identify the missing value. So how you can identify? How you can identify? Are you getting my point? So in this Excel file, the non value is nothing but the question mark. So I need to identify how many this question mark present inside the data set, right? Okay, so I go, I close this file and I go to the coding again. Okay, this is the df dot head. Okay, no issue. And now I need to identify non value so how to identify the non value that already we discussed earlier how to you have df means you can say data dot is null dot sum you will get the null value but here the thing is that as per this data there is no null value so what we need to do actually null value is present but in the place of space they return or in the place of the empty they return the question mark so what i need to do i need to change that uh, means so what we say the question mark with the non value okay so what i need to do i have data data means df okay please try to understand you can do the same thing huh? take the code and So this is the data and now data, uh, I have data, I want to replace, what I want to replace, question mark, so I want to replace question mark, where is the question mark, hmm. this is the question mark with none value, with NAN, with NAN, okay, and okay. The thing is NAN means I want to do the mathematical something means replacement, some mathematical manipulation. So what I will be do np dot none, numpy dot none. Okay. And now it will work. Now all the this uh, thing is replaced with the none value. Okay. NAN. 
and if i call now is there any null value present now it will give me the exact situation and exact thing about the data like this okay actually there 178 collision type but related data is not uh, uh, means you can say not present as well as the 360 property damage related data is missing 343 police report available related data is missing and uh, c39 something is available that is missing 1000 okay and what is the data shape just i want to see the data shape so tupal has no okay, okay. i think i need to call how to see the shape okay here it is available but i want to see how many column and five row and 40 column that is the head 1000 row is available okay so c39 actually something there means nothing is present means it by default that is gone okay so i want to drop that also okay so let's see what we need to do we has the done now what column i want to drop so i want to drop the policy number that is not i uh, means useful policy bind date also not necessary means not useful for me right now assume that and policy state is not useful insured zip is not useful incident location is not useful let it be and drop all that thing so drop how to do that already we discuss if the data is not useful then you can drop no issue the next point what dropping the unnecessary column is you need to do and after that okay is null value already we identified what we can do data information you can get so what you need to do data dot info you can get the information about the data okay and now okay the, there are lot of thing remaining i think that uh, that means do as a assignment okay do as a assignment by use of the just i call first what is the incident server id after that i will do the value count and i will get the idea how many measure damage how many total loss how many measure minor damage major damage and uh, trivial damage okay so these are the data can you make the data visualization for this data set so here the thing is we identified uh, the damage type of damage by use of the value count okay so we have value count now if i see what is this incident serverity Right. One minute. Where it is? It's copy pasted here. Or... So this is the minor damage, a total loss, major damage with respect to the data is available uh, inside our data set. So these are the minor damage. How much that you can see? But I want to represent all these thing in the graphical. Okay. so there is the many library available so, like plotly and yeah. one minute uh, okay so if i make uh, this uh, what we can say bar chart then you can use instead of kind is equal to bar and now it is available as a bar chart so now you can see in the visualization way you can see minor total loss tribal damage and all Ah, okay so by plotly is the best you can see what is the means measure minor total and the tribal damage and it is more interactive compared to the mat plot library the so next is i want to identify the incident count okay so what in it incident type 
so incident type what the thing is present inside the incident type let's uh, identify okay so we have data data dot column what is the column present there incident type is present <coughs> where it is present capital loss capital loss capital gain okay incident type okay so i want to see what type of the incident actually present inside my data set so data dot uh, data and i will call only incident type okay so this is the incident type okay and i will apply the value count value counts okay so this is the value count there is the four type of the incident one is the parked car one is the vehicle theft single vehicle collision and the multi vehicle collision and i want to visualize this data in graphical manner okay so how to do the data visualization Sir, for this you make uh, some graph incident type so i use the incident type i save this data into the incident type first okay so incident type is equal to this one and now i want to plot typ okay no issue use and dot plot and uh, by default it will take the what uh, it will take line graph but i want to use the pi okay pi chart is available okay and you want to use plotly then use i plot but there is issue okay because uh yeah define bhi aise hi kiya hai na okay so now you can see like that also one minute i need to zoom out then it okay so by plotly also you can draw like 1419 is incident that is a multi vehicle and the maximum uh, type of the incident is the multi vehicle collision you can yes, conclude li like that okay <laughs> so i think like that you can identify the ct related information like that you can do the data visualization exploratory data analytics okay yes. there are many thing like data descript data dot describe so you will get the description of the entire data that all the thing we done earlier so do the same step means apply all the steps okay apply data dot to describe then you will get the description of the entire data you can also see the type of the data present inside the uh, table that all the thing we discuss in our pandas lecture right so these are the all uh, about the exploratory data analytics okay and in coming session we will do the feature importance feature how to identify the importance feature by use of the feature engineering okay so Hmm. Uh, but it's not a data change here.